Hi there. Uh, this is a brief introduction to the Pinball Wizard Digital Modular Synth. Um, it's in beta version at the moment, so don't expect perfection. Uh, the nice thing about it, though, is that you can chip in uh, with some ideas that I might be able to implement uh, in it before it actually gets complete. So the usual components, oscillators, filters, envelope shapers, a um, couple of unusual components as well, like voltage control delays for modular craziness. I'll just briefly kind of show you around here to get you started, because uh, I've got a couple of people um, who would like to get involved in beta testing. So the first thing you have to do, uh, apart from launching it, unzipping it, is to click on the speaker icon in the middle. So we've got a patch ready go, ready to go. I'm just going to clear this for the moment uh, and explain how the matrix in the middle works. It's not rocket science, really. Um, take the output of one of the VCOs, or whatever you like. Outputs are along the top, inputs are along the side. So VCO output, say VCO1. I'm just going to connect the output of VCO1, read it down like a... Uh, map reference to the input of sound card 1 or sound card L, sound card R. So I'm going to connect the output of a, one of the VCOs to both right and left uh, inputs of the sound card. There we go. Beautiful. So if I want to connect another VCO, ooh, a little bit, a little tiny bit out of tune. We've got the frequencies here. Okay, if I wanted it stereo, I'd simply put one to one side, one to the other. So you've got a, that nice sort of chorus type of effect. I'll just clear that. So um, if I want to connect a VCO to a VCF, well, I, instead of connecting the VCO directly to the output, the uh, sound card, sound card input, uh, connect the VCO to VCF. You've got, you can see this little tilde sign here. That means it's an audio input. So I take the audio output from a VCO, both of them, in fact. They will both now go to the VCF, the voltage control filter, number one, way down here. I've called it state variable and voltage control there. I, I really need to um, standardize my labeling system, but basically, uh, it's going to the fil filter number one. Here we go. And filter number one, the output of which, because tops are outputs, sides are inputs, uh, the output of which I can then connect to the sound card. And now, sorry about the stepping, that will be addressed. Okay. And if I want to modulate the frequency, of the filter. Let me just uh, clear this. Well, I'll just switch these off a moment. If I wanted to say modulate the cutoff. Nice thing about the oscillators is that they have a an LFO um, button on them, which converts them from uh, your standard um, audio frequency to sub audio. I'm going to use oscillator six here. Just keep it out of the way. Turn the frequency down. I've got dual concentric pots here. I will go into all these um, modules in greater detail at a later point. So I'm just switching on the LFO. You can see a tiny red thing there. Um, it's a sine wave, and I'm going to use that to modulate the cutoff of the VCF. So this should be very straightforward to anyone who's got um, experience with modulars. Here we go. So VCO6. I will now use connect it to connect to the VCF one F. So voltage control filter number one. Frequency, okay, the frequency at which it starts to filter out frequencies, if you know what I mean. Anyway, here we go. There we go. So the output level of this oscillator, which is now an LFO is able to modulate 
the filter. The amount by which it modulates is dictated by the level. So you can get a more extreme effect. And obviously the speed will be dictated by the frequency. There we go. And you can change the shape of it. This, there are issues with this actually. There we go. All right, could use that. Instead of using the uh, the VCO number six to modulate the filter, I could use it to modulate, say, the frequency of oscillator one for a hideous, uh, rather hideous noise. There we go. Um, so that's a very, very brief introduction to it. I'll just run through a few presets that I've created. That one uses the RBC uh, delays and various other bits and bobs. I can use a MIDI keyboard, which I'm currently doing. Or you can use the on-screen keyboard. More crazy noises. I don't know if you can hear them properly. Hopefully you can. There we go. So that's a very brief introduction to Pinball Wizard. Uh, feel free to um, leave comments. And uh, if you'd like to download a beta copy, get in touch with me and I will sort you out with one. Um, it, the idea is that it's a sort of community driven design. So I have a rough design going here. There are bugs, there are problems. Uh, but if you'd like to get involved, please do just leave a message below. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye now.